Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start this video with a long-awaited SpaceX's Falcon Heavy launch from Launch Complex 39A. This is liftoff. Liftoff. We have this amazing tracking footage. Max Q. And side booster separation. We don't have footage of the boost back burn, but we have this nice view of Falcon Heavy core state separation and second stage ignition. And we have Falcon Heavy side boosters returning back to landing zone 1 and landing zone 2. Let's hear the sonic booms and watch the landing. Amazing work as always by SpaceX team and it was the first landing for boosters 1064 and 1065 and the first and the last launch for booster 1066. Rest in pieces. From Falcon Heavy to China's heavy lift launch vehicle Long March 5 launched carrying the Mangtian laboratory module. This is liftoff. <laughs> And later docked successfully to Tiangong Space Station. Glad we have this beautiful footage captured from Mangtian module. The next step is the relocation of Mangtian to port dock of Tianhe tomorrow. At Starbase, captured from La Padre's Nerder camera, we saw Ship 25 cryogenic proof test. It looks like everything went according to the plan for today's test and we have possible closure for tomorrow, Thursday, November 3rd from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Rocket Lab recovery team making the helicopter ready for the next electron booster catch attempt planned for Friday, November 5th at 5.15 p.m. UTC. Someone tweeted about seven months ago suggesting the name of the mission Catch Me If You Can instead of There and Back Again. That's how we got the mission name, catch me if you can. Very nice. And we have the payload integration completed. And SpaceX team are targeting tonight, Wednesday, November 2nd at 11.26 p.m. Eastern Time for Falcon 9 launch of Utilsat Hotbird 13G mission. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.